Welcome to the Homes Electrical Systems course organized by NPR Online Technologies. Before starting the video we recommend that you subscribe to our channel and visit our website npronline.tech. In this lesson we will address the theoretical concepts concerning the power line. Moving in our homes it will not be difficult to come across dozens of electrical and electronic equipment. The washing machine, the hairdryer, the refrigerator, the television, our computer, and the lamps scattered around the house represent only a small set of more or less sophisticated equipment that uses electricity. But where does this precious resource come from? We know it well, it comes from the electric meter. In fact, when for some problem the main switch of our electric meter is off, we immediately realize how precious this resource is. Suddenly, our home becomes an hostile environment and leads us to solve the problem as soon as possible. The electric meter not only has the task of interrupting or activating the supply of electricity, but it also has the thankless task of measuring how much electric energy we use and consequently how much we will pay with the next bill. At least two electric wires are connected to our meter. They are called hot and neutral. Moving from one country to another there are several alternative names used for the hot wire, they are, live, line, active and phase. However to avoid confusion, we will use only the term, hot, in this course. In some countries there are configurations with two hot wires, but for simplicity we will consider a configuration based on one hot wire and one neutral wire. These two wires walk around our homes and supply all our electrical and electronic devices and appliances. It is important to use a different color for hot and neutral wires in order to be able to easily distinguish them. However, even for wire colors there are different codes depending on the geographic region. In this regard, we will use the color coding adopted in Europe where light blue is used for the neutral wire, while brown, black and gray are used of the hot wire. Several resources on the internet, for example Wikipedia, provide the color coding adopted in each geographic region. In addition to these two wires, there is a third wire that is added to the electrical system for safety reasons and to protect us from possible electric shocks. This is the protective cable connected to the Earth system and in most areas in the world, such as Europe the yellow-green color is strictly used for this cable. Anyway, it is preferable to refer to the wide documentation available on the internet to know the color coding used in a specific country. The coloring of the cables, in fact, is not random but is regulated by specific rules. On the other hand, the coloring of the cables allows their easy identification, which is very important not only to speed up the wiring operations but also for safety reasons. As it is easy to understand, it is not the same thing to touch with bare hands the copper conductor of a yellow-green cable and that of a brown cable. In the first case, absolutely nothing should happen to us, while in the second case there are serious risks for our safety. From this example, we understand well that not respecting the coloring of the cables established by the standards can lead to very serious consequences and is therefore an operation that must be absolutely avoided. The potential difference available at the ends of the hot and neutral conductors connected to the electric meter is not a standard value adopted in all geographic regions of the world, so we recommend that you check the exact voltage value used in your country. For example, the typical value adopted in Europe is 230 volts, however, any other voltage values do not change the concepts that will be illustrated in this course. Well, we have come to the end of the first lesson of our course. We have introduced the concepts of hot and neutral wires, that will be intensively used during our next lessons and experiments. We suggest you immediately consolidate the concepts you have just learned by carefully reviewing this video and above all by going through all our other videos on the subject, by accessing our playlists. We remind you that our nprnline.tech website is active with numerous insights on these issues. We also suggest some useful actions that will undoubtedly contribute to the growth of this channel. In particular, we invite you to send us your comments, to like this video and share it with your friends. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all our activities. Thanks for your attention and see you next time.